This is pre-calculus concept 20b. We're going to be talking about the power rule, another rule used with logarithms. So this one will be a little confusing, but a couple examples will make it clear. Um, this one says that if you take the log of a number that has an exponent, that that exponent can basically be moved out in front of the logarithm as a multiplication problem. right? So log base b of m to the p power is equivalent to... Uh, p, the exponent, times the log base b of m. Let's look at a quick example of that. This will look a little familiar, but one way to view this is to think about something like this. Um, we talked about this being an example of inverse functions. We have 2 to the x and log base 2, so we should know that the answer is 5. But if you apply the property here, um, basically it says that the 5 can be thrown out in front of the logarithm, and now I have a logarithmic expression with no exponent in it. Log base 2 of 2 is just 1, and so my answer is 5 times 1, which is 5. Um, not really necessary in that particular example, but we'll see um, many times it's going to be helpful to move that exponent down, and it becomes a uh, multiplier or a coefficient of the logarithm. Okay, let's look at uh, three examples. Um, this first one... Should look very similar to the last one, but um, if you're asked to expand a logarithm, um, most of the time that means no exponents and also no radicals. So no exponents, no radicals. So that's kind of our goal in each of these problems here. Okay? So the first one has an exponent in it, and I basically want to remove that exponent of 3. So I can move it out in front, and I get 3 log base 3 of x. Uh, we consider that an expanded logarithm, again, because there's no exponent anymore. All right, another one, uh, log of 4x in parentheses to the fifth power has an exponent in it. That exponent can be moved out in front, so that's equivalent to the log of 4x. And basically, you can see that we're just kind of throwing that out in front. And that's what the power rule enables us to do. All right, third example. Um, you may want to think about that as that radical as a power. So it's really log base 5 of 7 to the 1 half power. So when I re rewrite that expression, the 1 half comes out in front. And you have the log base 5 of 7. Okay, so once again, the power rule enables us to uh, put that power in a different place, in this case out in front, and get an equivalent expression. All right, we got three U tries to uh, practice what you just learned. Um, take each of these expressions and expand it. Um, again, remember that expanding it means no exponents in your answer and no radicals in your answer. Okay, take a look at number one here and tell me what the equivalent expression is. Okay, hopefully you got 9 log base 6 of 3. Uh, that 9 exponent can be just thrown out in front. Try the next one. Alright, in this one you're cube root of x is really a power of one-third. So this one becomes one-third log of x. Okay, again, we're thinking of that radical as an exponent. Try number, letter C. And this one, you have two out in front, log base two of the quantity x plus four. And that is three examples of the power rule.